I've said it before, and I think I'll say it again. Trevor Lawrence is a good quarterback, or at least he will be a good quarterback. I really feel confident that he is going to get there. I don't know when, but I saw this earlier in the season. He started to show some flashes that, for me, said, okay, this guy has it. And then he went through a rough patch, and I was like, am I wrong? Did I screw that up? Uh, but now I feel pretty confident, back to my original take of, he's still going to have some inconsistencies. He's still an imperfect quarterback, but man, this guy had... I don't know, maybe the most impressive throwing performance out of anyone from that draft class that's gotten a lot of attention. Fields had some rushing performances that you could certainly argue. I thought Lawrence was great in this game. And let's start off with some of the simpler stuff. This isn't anything crazy, but still something very good, where you have a receiver who's going to try to get into a gap in coverage. This is the first thing that we've seen Lawrence just take massive strides in this season compared to last season, is he just runs an offense better. And listen, the Urban Meyer offense, not the easiest offense to run, but even so, I do think he's taken some strides forward, even taking account for the, you know, being in an easier situation. Lawrence is going to take the snap, and you're going to see right here that there is an opening, but it's not a wide open play. This isn't someone just getting completely open. Lawrence has an opportunity to make this throw, but one of the things that I think can sometimes give young players especially some trouble is in a spot like this, you sometimes want to throw to your receiver instead of what you should do, which is throw to the gap in coverage. You want to get the ball there and you hope that the receiver can make a play in college it can be a little bit different but in the NFL guys are so talented you have to throw it to where Zay Jones that's the receiver on this play can make the grab through the gap in coverage the more difficult thing is getting it through the gap in coverage than getting Zay Jones to make the grab because if it's in his area he will make the grab because you know he's a NFL wide receiver and a pretty good one too had a good season uh with the Jaguars Watch as Lawrence does make a perfect throw there. I mean, just exactly accurate to where you want to be. Again, I'm not saying this is the highest degree of difficulty play. I'm not saying this is a highlight reel level throw or anything. But it's doing this stuff consistently that we really saw from Lawrence. And he was just constantly being able to hit these types of plays. Like something like this is another example where it's going to end up being a zone coverage play once again. This time, so the Jaguars are in five wide here. And it's actually going to be their halfback that they're going to be paying attention to. Which, you know, uh, my might not be what every team does. You know, a lot of teams would maybe put someone else on this side of the field, but there's two reasons why Jacksonville is going to have a halfback here. One, the uh, kind of obvious example of, hey, having a halfback there gets less attention, so that's also going to, that's kind of the main reason. But two, Jermichael Hasey is actually going to do a pretty good job on this play. That's the halfback who's, uh, you know, the one running this route. Watch as Lawrence takes the snap, and again, you see there is that little bubble in coverage right there, and to be honest, I think the safety's probably further over if this was a wide receiver. So again, this is the kind of the Doug Peterson putting his players in positions to succeed kind of mindset in why, you know, I often like to say, hey, coaches can't win you a football game. It's the old Bill Belichick quote, right? Coaches don't win games, but they can lose them. I, I do believe that. I think the exact quote is players win games, coaches lose them, but you, you get the idea. It's sort of that all a coach can do is put your players in position to win the football game, but that's what Peterson's doing, and it makes your players play better when they're in positions to succeed. This is still not an easy play, though. I mean, this is still a difficult throw to make. You have a bubble right there where Lawrence can make this throw, but it's going to take you know a great throw to make it happen. But the thing about Lawrence is there's been plenty of criticisms about him so far in the NFL. No one has ever said he doesn't have the arm talent to succeed because his arm talent is you know up there with the best of them in the NFL already. And watch this just beautiful throw and perfectly timed. That's the main thing. Perfectly timed, which is, you know, once he's getting these little things down, he's always had the talent. He's always had the physical tools. He's just learning how to get the little stuff down because let's be real. In Clemson, it was pretty much, uh, you know, screen pass, screen pass, then fake a screen and throw a deep. That was mostly their offense. So he's just having to learn basically how to be a quarterback at the NFL level, but he's learning and he's getting better. Something like this is another great example of just, running the offense well. It's a zone coverage play, and this concept is designed to beat zone coverage, where you have two receivers who are going to kind of be sort of near the same gap in coverage for the Raiders player. For a Raiders player who's supposed to cover, uh, they're both going to kind of get in his area. One's going to be underneath. The other is going to be further deep. That Baltimore player can only cover one of them. You throw it to the other guy. That's the way this concept works. Watch as Lawrence takes the snap, and you see Baltimore does not pick this up. You see the two receivers that I highlighted earlier. The deep receiver is open. Lawrence notices this, does a great job of getting the ball over there. They are able to get a big chunk play on that one. So again, just running the offense. This is not something super fancy. A lot of people will say, hey, 
You threw to a wide open receiver. Who cares about that? But it's worth mentioning, you know, he started off that play looking on the other side of the field. You have to find a wide open receiver to throw to the wide open receiver. And again, Last year, there was oftentimes no wide res- no a wide open wide receiver to find, but in a situation like this, there was a wide open receiver to find. He hit him and was able to pick up a first down on a second down and very long. Being able to do these types of things is just a, a massive step up from where he was last year. And then you have stuff like this, which we've always seen flashes of him being able to do this. Last year, we absolutely saw the flashes at times of him being able to make this exact type of play, but I don't know. This might be one of the better throws uh, we've seen from him. Uh, and in fact, I still don't think it was the best throw of this drive by him. This was in kind of that uh, game-winning drive at the end there where it's Zay Jones running a route that's, again, going to try and get into a gap in coverage. Really, uh, you know, Baltimore played a lot of this zone coverage. I'm not exactly sure why. I-, I would think man coverage would be better against this uh, Jaguars team, but then you have to deal with the running game, so I get it, but... Uh, you know, that's still probably what I would have done. But regardless, you're going to see Lawrence do a really good job here because he knows which route to look towards. But it's going to be a tough throw, right? Going to be deep down the field. Lawrence takes the snap, and right here is when he has to make his decision. One thing, if you notice when I uh, I show these clips, I always try to pause it when the quarterback is uh, in the throwing motion or sometimes even before they're in the throwing motion. I don't pause it after they made the throw because this is when Lawrence has to make his decision. Uh, you see that Jones is kind of getting open, but again, going to be a difficult throw, especially when you're talk, factoring in, he has to get the ball far down the field. I mean, this is nearly going to be, uh, it's actually going to be a little bit over 30 yards down the field in terms of actual distance. If you include, uh, he has to throw it a little bit over towards uh, you know the top of the screen, but watch this just thing of beauty right there. I mean, that's, that's a beautiful throw. That's an absolute beautiful throw from Trevor Lawrence. And again, He's just hitting them. He's just hitting these types of plays. It's not like he's hitting them every now and then. Uh, this reminds me of when he was at his best in Clemson, and he would just seemingly hit every throw and look like this perfect player. That's what he's doing here. It's He, to me, looks like the guy I thought he could be when he got drafted. Finally, one last play. I teased it, so I'll show it here. The touchdown, which was just, uh, again, a thing of beauty absolutely perfect throw. The way the concept works actually is that Baltimore does have a safety deep, but they're keeping that safety over Zay Jones. Zay Jones has been kind of crushing them a little bit, so they're looking in a different direction. We do actually have man coverage in this spot. Right when this play begins, you're going to see that this is actually a mismatch right here. Uh, it's Marvin Jones going up against Marcus Peters. You can't really tell if there's, there's really no separation. And again, if you're Baltimore, you feel pretty good about having Peters on Jones in this situation. You feel like that's a, a good, solid matchup for you. You know, this is why they had the safety on the other side of the field. They felt okay if the game comes down to this, that Peters can win the battle. But what's the old expression? No, no matter how good of a coverage it is, a perfect throw and a great catch will always beat perfect coverage. And a perfect throw it is. Look at, I mean, if that's, I don't know, six inches in any direction, is it a catch? Maybe if it's six inches low. It's certainly not if it's six inches high. Marvin Jones, incredible catch uh, in his own right to get the touchdown there. So just being able to pull that kind of stuff off, just huge. And again, really exciting stuff. Lawrence has these past few weeks quietly, and now I think loudly, started to play some really good football. And I think that the Jaguars might have a star. I really do. From what I saw these past couple weeks, again, been a bit inconsistent and that's kind of the issue is you can't completely jump to conclusions it's the same thing with like Justin Fields where you want to get all excited but it's like it is still kind of a small sample size it's a kind of a small sample size with Lawrence but I'm also factoring in how much I liked him in college which is why I'm kind of you know uh wanting to jump to that conclusion but it still is possible he might be an inconsistent player because again we saw with Jameis Winston, right, where uh, he would get, dra- you know, he got drafted and would go through these hot stretches, but then would go through cold stretches, and it turned out he was just a hot and cold player. Uh, so who, who, whoever knows of this stuff, but uh, it's looking good and certainly reason for optimism if you're a Jaguars fan. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.